the News Channel 5 Network, this is Morning Line with Nick Barris. have two members of our executive. good morning everyone thanks for joining us on morning line nick barris here on a thursday We've got a good show for you on tap we're going to open up the phone lines we're going to talk about services i know many of you watching are are maybe a little bit older that's one reason you're home maybe watching the show and don't have to rush off to work if you've retired or you work a night shift or you have maybe perhaps you know folks that are a little bit older that uh, that you care about this is a show for you we'll get the phone number up in a moment and uh, we're gonna open up the conversation with our guests about services out there for seniors or really what defines a senior maybe just people 50 years old and older and I don't think 50 is a senior citizen these days I mean we all are living longer but the number is 737-7587 but services for seniors and the idea of 50 Forward is the organization that's going to join us this morning. We've got two great guests. Let's introduce them to you right now. How about that? Janet Jernigan's with us. She is the executive director of 50 Forward. Hi, Janet. Hello. Nice to have you on. You brought Gretchen, the lovely and talented Gretchen <laughs> Funk. It's nice to have her on. She's Good the morning. associate executive director of supportive care at 50 Forward. And um, why don't we just let you kind of spell out executive director. Um, 50 Forward Services, you have to be 50 years old or older to really tap into this? Primarily, but we have uh, other people of all ages who are involved in some capacity with our organization because we have many caregivers who have older parents um, that they want to receive care right. for. And I know Gretchen would work with people who might be younger who are family members in just working out a care plan for their loved one. Uh, we also have many intergenerational programs where older adults tutor in uh, primarily Davidson and Williamson County schools, about mm -hmm. 35 schools, um, an excellent program. So we have young children in elementary schools with reading problems who receive a one on one um, tutoring and mentoring from older adults. Oh, okay, so, so these are seniors really, who have time to. Oh, yes. Go, I think that's great. Absolutely. Okay, and so the, the, how long has 50 Forward been around? Because the name changed, didn't it? We're getting ready to enter our 62nd year. We're one of the oldest, most long-standing um, senior-serving organizations in the country. Okay, so, and we have that here. I guess you're here through the Middle Tennessee. Uh, is it Nashville, Middle Tennessee? Middle Fort? Tennessee. Davidson okay. County and Williamson County but primarily, and then in supportive care programs, our care team that Gretchen will talk some about, we serve people who are in other counties Okay, well. but it, it, they're in other states as well, obviously. Like you said, it's across the country? No, 50 Forward is a local organization. It's um, local, so it's, it's throughout the state. What, I thought you said... Country. Davidson you said and Williamson County. It's just these two counties. Our are areas. So, are there similar organizations like you? We get that question all the time. Because I would think, I, I asked, that's the first thing I asked when I sat down <laughs> right. with them, because I have my folks live in Boise, and what they do I think is fantastic, and my folks would, I think, really benefit from that. But. Right. I'm sure there's something similar, right? Well, I think that there's a lot of freestanding groups working with <laughs> okay. older adults. And the neat thing about 50 Forward is that we combine a lot of expertise in one place. Mm -hmm. So someone can come to us through a center, and then if they need more assistance or they want to volunteer in the community, we have options for them that way also. So it's nice that we are very well connected to all different things that people could take advantage of. There's so much then. Okay, so Janet, Gretchen, where do you want to start? What, what should we really spell out first? Because, I mean, you can go there because you want to volunteer for something, but you can also go there if you're seeking assistance for things. So what, do you, what do you want to start with? <laughs> we'll start anywhere. Why don't we talk uh, talk about active older adults? Okay. We have uh, seven different centers in Davidson and Williamson counties where thousands of older adults come on a daily basis and take every kind of class. We have our own travel agency. Where are you guys at? Uh, we have locations in Davidson County, our uh, Donaldson, oh, Donaldson Station, okay, okay. Madison Station. Wow. Uh, we are in a partnership with the YMCA in Bellevue, where if you are 50 years of old and older uh, and you join the Bellevue YMCA, you're automatically a member of our Turner Center that's based there. It's oh, a cool. real model. It was the first of its kind in the country. We went together with the Y and built that facility that's from great. the ground up in Bordeaux we have a center and then our Knoll Center which is in our headquarters mm -hmm. uh, which is the Patricia Hart building and that's located inside the main entrance to the state fairgrounds. Okay wow mm -hmm. all right so 
Active adults. It was interesting. You said there's travel agencies. And so, I mean, oh, you, yeah. so and I, of course, seniors have time, and maybe if they have the means to, to travel, are you able to get special good deals? <laughs> well, we definitely do. It's I a very so. reasonable yeah. price. We have a wonderful travel coordinator, Janice Judd. What's who's, the last trip you went on? Uh, the last trip I went on was to Amish country, and that was a one-day trip. Oh, uh, within reasonable. But I mean, you go oh, on trips overseas. Oh, we do day trips, and then we uh, coordinate and uh, work contract with overseas travel companies too so we have a real variety of offerings for I mean, that that's yeah. awesome all right so and we can talk more about that we've got some calls coming in but um, as far as supportive care sure. the other side of the coin on that um, so seniors that aren't in a position maybe to travel or to come and volunteer and read to kids or mentor kids, which I think is wonderful. The other side of the coin, what kind of services for supportive care? Sure. So supportive care, as Janet was saying, we offer lots of opportunities for people who are able to independently come and take advantage of opportunities at our centers. Things happen in life. You know, we don't know what's going to happen to us tomorrow. Uh, we offer various programs for people who need a little extra support. So we have a Meals on Wheels program. That's probably what people are most familiar with, that home delivered meal model. So we bring um, hot, nutritious meals into the homes of seniors. They're all delivered by volunteers. So every day we deliver about 85 meals, about 10 volunteers a day through the course of the entire month go and mm. deliver these meals. So it's the meal, but it's also somebody knocking on your That's door nice. every day. It's like right? a welfare check almost, Friendships, right? Friendships, yeah. yeah, develop that way. We have been the first ones to find sort of emergency situations mm -hmm. when people are very isolated and we're the folks going in. So we have our Meals on Wheels program. We have an adult day service program. So as people are living longer, People are living longer with lots of different abilities and needs. So in, adu in our adult day service program, older adults who live at home with their families, the families need to work during the day. So mm -hmm. you have someone maybe my age and my parents are living with me. During the day, they could potentially stay at home alone, but it would be much better for them to go and socialize with other folks in a safe, supportive environment. So in that program, you know, a daughter or son can drop mom or dad off at our program first thing in the morning, go into work. They have a wonderful full day of programming and activities and fellowship. And then at the end of the day, uh, the daughter and son can come and pick up mom or dad. Everybody goes home having had a very full day, ready to rest and settle into the evening together. I think that's great. How do um, people pay for these services? How does this work? I mean, some volunteers, some some involve some pay if they have a means, or yep. how does it work? Right, so 54 it is a not-for-profit organization. Mm -hmm. We rely a lot on charitable donations, so we welcome charitable donations. We have some government funding for some of our programs, like that adult day service mm -hmm. program. We benefit from foundations that support our work in the community. So we're very tapped into different ways to provide these services to the people that need them. Okay, so and the people then that reach out to you then usually are folks that have a financial need where they can't get it someplace else they have to qualify or can someone just like 50 forward um, access you uh, even if they have means absolutely and pay for it so, uh, uh, I mean right. so I mean what I guess my point is is there a sliding scale does anyone pay for these services they do so <laughs> let me talk about our care okay. management services so in both Meals on Wheels and adult day services we look at people's income so we want to provide access to these services to everyone yeah. so we have some folks that don't pay costs themselves sure. and we subsidize those through grants and charitable donations we also have folks who can contribute to the cost but otherwise couldn't access these things. So in our adult day service program we have folks that are supported through grant funding and then we have folks that pay our full fee per day and others that pay a sliding fee. So our aim is to have opportunities for everybody who needs these services. Yeah. In the care management area, more of our supportive care services, we have a living at home program that is primarily grant and contribution funded that works with lower income folks. and helps them to remain living at home, which is mm -hmm. what we all want to do. Right. So um, helps make sure that their taxes are arranged in the best way for them as older adults, helps them to get um, energy assistance if they need that, helps bring food into their homes. So we have those folks who are lower income and then we do have our care team program we have this expertise. We've been doing this for 60 years. So sure. when you are a family, you are one family with your one loved one trying to figure this all out. If you come to 50 Forward, we have the benefit of having worked with hundreds of families over the years. So we know, you know, your puzzle is your own puzzle, but 
we understand the pieces that can come together to solve that for you. So in the care team program, folks whose incomes would not qualify them for the no cost services, they pay on a sliding fee again for mm -hmm. our professional expertise to help diagnose the problem and then put the solution in place. Okay, so and, and so if a loved one, you know, wants to do something for their parents, mm -hmm. just in terms of accessing, they come to one of these places, one of your offices, and just yep. come in and say, look, um, I have my folks, can we sit down and what, they have a little meeting with someone there and mm -hmm. kind of say, this is kind of what I was thinking of. What do you guys have to offer? And then you kind of work out a plan. Is that have how you that been works? there before? Well, that's pretty, <laughs> I just figured that's standard for anything, but right, that's, I was right. trying to let people tangibly thinking yep. why this is. Right. And listen, I'll let you answer that in a moment. We've got to take a break. Sure. When we come back, we've got several phone calls coming in. Right. Take some calls and then just get more into the details of all the services you offer. We need to spread the word because you guys help Thank a lot you. of people. We'll take Thank a break you. and be back with more right after this.